What's up, crawlers? It's Crawler Baller. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It is me, Jacob, aka Crawler Baller. Your favorite crawler of all time, me. Anyways, I'm doing a video today because I've been working on my course. This section, actually, in particular, I've been working on a lot. This used to be nothing. And then a little while ago, I poured some dirt on there and started going at it. This section over here, actually, um, I've also been working on as well. This used to be that one kind of round boulder that people would kind of go around. Anyways, I tore all that up, put this big rock there. See, people are already enjoying the space. There's a guy riding his motorcycle, very close to a couple of bears. This rock right here is super my favorite. When I saw this, I was like, I have to have it. All that texture, mm, mm, mm. Most of the rocks on my course are actually pretty porous. They're not like smooth river rocks. So it actually, it's pretty fun to drive on them because even if the terrain is a little treacherous at times, I don't really have a huge problem getting tires to grip up to them, if you know what I mean. Ooh, look at all those trucks back there. Mm. Anywho, moving along, get the mayor still drinking with the rednecks, as always. See those little things, vines sticking out behind there? Those are new. Oh, and I added grass trim around a lot of the edge of this too. You can kind of see there. So it looks a little better than the wood, I think adds a little color but anyways that is the course we're going to be driving today we're driving my trx 4m high trail the cheyenne chevy one they do have a ford one that just came out and i know it's the same thing underneath but you know i gotta have it so that video is going to be coming soon as soon as i see it in the hobby shop trust me Although I think it's gonna be a little weird to drive that one again, to drive a box stock one again. This one's got the low speed transmission in it. It's got a lower speed motor in it. Um, yeah, so it actually, it, it's got a lot of nice low end control. Love driving this thing. I think it's actually probably my favorite truck that I have right now. I mean, I like them all, but for some reason, I just really like this one. I like that drop bed. I like that it's painted flat black in there. It looks nice. And then I put one of my characters inside here. But there's no seats. I just glued his hat to the ceiling. <laughs> so that's that. I can, I can take him out of there, but the hat is staying. So I can actually switch up some characters, but yeah, if you look, if you're underneath there, it looks like he's sitting in a seat, but you can see that he's not sitting on anything. He's just chilling. And then I got that, what is that sleeping bag little thing back there? I don't know how that's staying in, I glued it. Does do anybody know if they're making inner fenders for this truck yet? If you do know, or you, you know where to find them. Let me know in the comments below because I really, really want them. I got to thinking the other day, you know, regard in regard to things like inner fenders and stuff like that. Man, I really wish I had a 3D printer. That would be legit. I see like Harley Designs and you know, those guys 3D printing just whatever they want. Like, oh no, I'll just make a dash. Cool, I wish I could do that. But anyways, that would be something I can get into at some point. I'm only 44. Knock on wood, I'll be around for another 30 years or so to do this hobby. I've only been doing it for three years. And look what I've done in that time. I've created Crawler Baller Headquarters. A pretty cool course. If you ask me, 
I have no idea why I started building this course. I think I had literally one RC, and it's like, I need a place to drive it. And I think, honestly, if I didn't have this course, I wouldn't be into RCs at all. Like, maybe I might do a 10th scale, but with these smaller scale ones, you know, they're made for kind of being indoors. I just can't stand the thought of taking a scale truck like this and driving it over popsicle sticks. That's pretty boring. But if that's what you're doing and you're having fun, do it up. Don't care. For me, I have to have this course. I gotta have a crawler course. It's probably the thing I spend the most time on besides working and sleeping. Actually, most days I go to my crawler crawler headquarters on my lunch and I work on it a little bit for an hour and that's what I do to escape reality. Anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying this course. And hopefully in the next few days, that Ford version of this will pop in. Hey, what's up, dude? And then we will get a little video of that. But until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again real soon. Peace.